This isn't easy for me, and it's, this has been very clearly emotional, so I'm going to read what I've written so I don't lose track. My name is Stephanie, and this is my daughter, Maddie, and we live in Ohio. On January 20th, Maddie received her second dose of the Pfizer COVID vaccine as a participant in the clinical trial for 12 to 15 year olds. All three of our kids volunteered and were excited to participate in the trial as a way to help us all return to normal life. My husband works in the medical field and I have a degree in electrical engineering. We are pro-vaccine and pro-science, which is why we agreed to let Maddie and her two older brothers volunteer for the trial. Before Maddie got her final dose of the vaccine, she was a healthy 12-year-old. Upon receiving the second shot, Maddie immediately felt pain at the injection site. And over the next 24 hours, she developed severe abdominal and chest pain. And the way she described the chest pain, and I quote, it feels like my heart is being ripped out through my neck. She had painful electrical shocks down her neck and spine that forced her to walk hunched over. She had extreme pain in her fingers and toes. It actually made them turn white, and they were cold whenever you touched them. She had edema. Um, so my husband immediately took her to the ER as instructed by the vaccine trial nurse. Her blood was taken for a renal profile and tested. She was checked for appendicitis, which she did not have, and given an IV with some medicine and sent home. However, in the discharge papers from the Children's Hospital ER that she went to, the diagnosis stated adverse effect of vaccine initial encounter. This would be the only time that that was written in her medical charts, but it's in there. Over the next two and a half months, her abdominal, muscle, and nerve pain became unbearable. She addi developed additional symptoms that included gastroparesis, nausea and vomiting, erratic blood pressure and heart rate, memory loss, she mixes up words, brain fog, headaches, dizziness, fainting, she fell and hit her head, and then um, seizures. She had verbal, she developed verbal and motor tics. She had loss of feeling from the waist down and muscle weakness. Drastic changes in her vision, urinary retention and loss of bladder control, severely irregular and heavy menstrual cycles, and eventually she had to have an NG tube put in to get nutrition. Because they couldn't figure it out, one physician labored, labeled her as having functional neurologic disorder, saying it was due to anxiety. This concerned us and we didn't agree with it because she doesn't have the anxiety, look at her. I mean, what 13-year-old can sit here calmly, okay? if they have anxiety or mental issues. At one point, they even tried to admit her to a mental hospital. What I want to ask, Maddie volunteered for the Pfizer trial. Why? Why aren't they researching her to figure out why this happened? So other people don't have to go through this. Instead, they're just saying it's mental. If anybody's mental, it's me. All we want is for Maddie to be seen, heard, and believed, because she has not been. And we want her to get the care that she desperately needs so that she can go back to normal. Why is she not back to normal? I want to be clear at the outset, uh, to a person, we are all pro-vaccine. Just because the vaccine is generally safe, doesn't mean that it's 100% safe. Ron Johnson has been suspended from YouTube. Johnson is Johnson blocked, is blocked for, a for a week over remarks promoting unproven coronavirus treatments. The Hill reports YouTube removed a video where he discussed hydroxychloroquine, which violated the company's medical misinformation policies. Journalists have found and established that this guy has uh, has uh, put forth Russian talking points in the U.S. Senate as his own in the past. Well, look, as far as I can tell, I'm not from Wisconsin, but everything I see about Ron, uh, Ron Johnson is that basically he is what you would get if a, you know, a very misinformed and vaguely racist Facebook meme was incarnated into a human form. You know, everything he says is wrong when it comes to this.